Now we are going to study about the movements in plants. As you know that we can move, we can walk, we can run, but like us, the plants, uh, like if you will compare humans with plants, you will see that the, you will see, uh, you'll say that plants cannot move. But still there are certain movements, uh, though they are uh, fixed uh, to the, uh, fixed in the soil, but still you know that there are certain movements that are exhibited by plants. So now in this topic, we'll uh, discuss about the movements that the plants can actually show. You know that they cannot move from one place to another, but still they can show certain kind of movements by moving their body parts uh, in response to a stimulus. And I think you are familiar that what is the stimulus? It is the, uh, you can say, change in the external environment. It is the change in the environment. So uh, in response to stimulus, they show actually different kinds of movements. So we are going to study about those. So basically two movements are there which are shown by plants that is the trophic movements and the nastic movements. So two movements are there one is the trophic and other is the nastic. Now what is the difference between the two? See trophic movements are those which occur towards or away from the direction of stimulus. That means the, uh, it, uh, it is actually fixed. This kind of movement is actually, this kind of uh, movement is fixed. That means it uh, either it is towards the direction of the stimulus or it is away from the direction of stimulus. But it is actually fixed. We'll just illustrate it more. So trophic movements, the, the stimulus uh, in this trophic movements can be, can be light. <clears throat> so it can be light, it can be gravity. It can be any chemical, it can be water. So that means plant can show uh, movement in response to different kind of stimulus and the, uh, the movement direction of the movement can be in the direction of the stimulus or can be away from the direction of stimulus. So what can be stimulus actually? It can be light, it can be gravity, it can be chemical, it can be water. So when there is a movement in plant in response to light, then this trophic movement is being given a special name that is the phototropism. Photo means light and trophic mo movement we have already discussed. So that means it is phototropism. So that means movement of plant in response to light is called as phototropism. And movement in response to gravity is geotropism. Geo is here, uh, geo refers to gravity here. So it is geotropism. Movement in response to chemical is chemotropism. Movement in response to water, hydro, that means water, is hydrotropism. So this kind of movement we have seen, uh, they, are, uh, they come under, they fall under the trophic movements. Now I'll just illustrate more with an example. First, phototropism. And see, like when we'll be discussing these trophic movements, when the uh, direction of the uh, movement of the plant is in the direction of the stimulus, then it is called as positive movement. And when it is away, it is called as negative movement. We will discuss now. See, first we are taking an uh, example of light. Firstly, we are taking an example of light. So we see that, uh, like uh, if you will consider the plant parts, you will see that like we have plant like this, roots are going down and shoot is, it's like this, right. So what do you see here that the roots are going uh, like they are moving away from the light as you know that roots go into the soil. So they are that because sun is here right. So roots are going away from the sun. So we say that roots are negatively phototropic. But shoot if we talk about shoot it is moving towards the sun. So that means it is positively phototropic. And <coughs> for example. If we take a pot, these movements are actually fixed. Suppose we take a pot and we have a plant like this, right? Let's say it's like this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, this thing, uh, like the light is here. So whether the sun is from this side or whether it is from this side or whether it is from any side, the movement is going to be fixed. That is the roots are going to be uh, negatively phototropic and uh, the leaves are, sorry, the shoot is going to be positively phototropic. And you know that due to this only uh, we can see, uh, you know that the plants actually droop when we keep the plant inside. Like uh, when you keep the plant in the, the your, in your courtyard or something where the sun falls directly, then the equal growth of plant occurs. But if you keep the 
uh, that pot containing the plant into your room which is a you can say in your drawing room or something so there the the plant after a few days just droop you know that what is the reason the reason is that though it is not in your syllabus but still you should know see it's like that we have a shoot like this there is a hormone that is auxin which is present at the tip so when the plant gets sunlight this auxin gets uniformly distributed and this is actually responsible for the growth so when it gets uniformly distributed the equal growth of all parts of plant occur but when we keep the plant inside a dark room then what happen auxin is present at tip so the plant plant uh, this auxin hormone do not get uniformly distributed it gets accumulated only at one side and the side which contains the auxin hormone growth grows but the other uh, where the distribution of auxin is not there that uh, the growth of that part is actually retarded so that is the reason the plant like suppose it, it is present this side so this is going to show a growth but this side is not containing that auxin so it won't grow so due to this reason the plant actually droops so this is the reason that when you keep plant in a dark and when you keep plant in a sunlight the growth is affected right so this is what is a movement in response to light that is the phototropism second we have is geotropism that is the movement of plant in response to gravity so if we consider gravity now so gravity is let's say is here so you know that the roots are going towards the gravity so that means they are positively geotropic and shoot is going away from the gravity so they are called as negatively geotropic and these movements are actually fixed we can actually prove it suppose i have a pot in which plant is like this i'm going to tilt this pot so let's say we keep uh, the pot is tilted like this right so after a few days what you will see that this plant will not grow horizontally it will grow like it is present like this so we'll see that it will not grow like this it will grow ultimately like this the reason being the root like this because the roots are always uh, positively geotropic and they are going to remain as positively geotropic and the shoot is negatively geotropic and it is going to remain as such so whether you keep your pot horizontal or whether you keep it vertically it doesn't affect the movement of the plant the shoot is going to go away from the gravity and root is going to uh, go towards the gravity so third is the chemotropism chemotropism is the movement of plant part in response to a chemical the example is growth of pollen tube growth of pollen tube as you have discussed uh, that uh, we have a ovary like this so let's say this is ovule this is a structure of ovary containing a ovule this is just for the sake of example so suppose our pollen is here so what happened when pollen tube grows it grows 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 and finally it enters into embryo sac this sac is called embryo sac through micropyle so this is a movement in response to a chemical because there is no one sitting inside that that is guiding the path actually the growth of pollen tube is just uh, going down and it moves into an embryo sac finally because it, this movement is in response to a chemical you will illustrate more in uh, 12th standard 11 12th standard but for this movement you should know that the growth of pollen tube is actually a example of positive chemotropism next is hydrotropism that is movement in response to water so you know that water uh, like you irrigate plant suppose this is soil and this the soil containing water so roots are going towards the water so that means they are positively hydrotropic and this stem is going away from the water so it is negatively hydrotropic and it is going to remain as such these movements are actually fixed that means the part which is moving towards that uh, stimulus is going to remain as such and the part which is going to uh, which is growing away from it then it is going to remain as such so that means these movements can be towards can be away but these are actually fixed now coming on to the next movement that is the nastic movement this question is very important and you get this question of nastic movement often in paper so nastic movement is in response to an environmental stimulus 
So again here the stimulus is an environmental stimulus and the, but the direction is actually independent of the direction of the stimulus, it does not depend on that. Like uh, so we have three kinds of nastic movement, photonasty, thigmonasty and nicknasty. Photonasty, in this photonasty the stimulus is actually light. For example, uh, you see that uh, when, there is a, when there is a sunrise or when there is a sun outside, the flowers actually open up properly and the leaves actually also open. But when there is no sunlight, then what happens? The, there is a closure of flowers. So this is what is in a movement of plant part in response to a stimulus. Second is thigmonasty. Here the stimulus is touch or you can say contact. You must have seen a popular plant that is Mimosa pudica. The scientific name that is Mimosa pudica. Right. That is uh, in Hindi what we call it as uh, Lajwanti, Chui Mui, Rat Ki Rani. You must be familiar. And it, the common name is Touch Me Not plant. You know that why it is called this uh, Touch Me Not. See what happened. Its leaves are like this. Right. So the stimulus for this plant is touch. So when you are going to touch this leaves, they are going to just, uh, they will get close actually. So they will like this, they are actually closed now. So that means this is the movement of the plant part and, the respond, and in response to a stimulus that is the touch. So whenever you touch a mimosa podica plant, its leaves actually gets closed and because the stimulus is actually a touch. So that is why it is called as touch me not because when we will touch the, the plant part will just get close. And what is the botanical name? It is mimosa podica. So you get a question based on this only that uh, what type of movement do you get to see in touch me not plant or what is a nastic movement just explain with an example. Because here the stimulus is touch that is why this movement is called as thickmo nasty. Third is nicknasty. Here uh, the stimulus is the alteration in day and night. Alteration in day and night. What do you see that uh, the same what we did in photo nasty almost same that whenever there is a daytime, the flowers open, the buds actually uh, start opening or uh, but when there is a you can say when there is a sunset. So what happened when there is a sunset actually these uh, they actually get close. The buds are not opening, the flowers get, uh, uh, get little close, the leaves get little curled. So this is what is Nick Nasty. So these kind of movements are actually seen in plants and you can see that the stimulus are so many stimulus uh, are there in, uh, like, uh, in response to which plant is showing a certain kind of movement. So please from today don't uh, keep in mind that plants can't move because movement is not restricted to a, a whole that a whole uh, body should move. The movement can be a uh, movement of any part also because and the stimulus can be any we have discussed many. So this is what is a movement in plants, right? So this is what you are going to do that what is trophic movements, what are nastic movements and what are these kind of tropism or nicknasty and thigmonasty which you get to see in plants. So this is what is the movement about, movement shown in the plants.